We've learned a few things thus far. We've learned what the word ratio means. And a ratio is any time you're comparing two or more things with one another. We also learned what a rate is. And a rate is nothing more than a ratio. It's still a ratio. It's a comparison of two things with one another. However, the units have to be different. For example, dollars per hour, kilometers per hour, drips per minute, beats per minute. Those all have two different units compared to one another. That's called a rate. This lesson, we're going to look at what unit rates are. And the word unit always means one. That's what unit means. It's another way of saying one. It's a unit. I'd like you first off to turn this picture here, this bumper car picture, I want you to turn it into a ratio. You may have done something like this. You may have said there's four people in two cars. Or maybe you said that there are two cars for four people. Either of these is correct, but our job is to take these rates, this is a rate and this is a rate, because we're comparing people with cars. People and cars are different, so this is a rate. We are comparing these. I need to turn this into a unit rate. The unit, the one, has to be in the denominator. So look at this denominator. How do we turn a two into a one? You can multiply or divide. You, cannot, so you can't be like, oh, I'm just going to subtract one and that'll fix my problem. You have to multiply or divide. So the easy answer is just divided by itself. So divide this by two, and whatever you do to this number, you have to do to this number. That's the rule to keep the balance. So we have four divided by two is going to be two people to one car. And that makes sense because you do have two people in one car. Remember, one being the unit. Now, how about if you wrote this one here? Two cars for four people. We just said a unit has to be one and it has to be in the denominator. So how do you turn four into one? We have to do it. We have to turn it into one person. But to do that, you have to, again, divide by itself. So four divided by four makes one. So whatever you do to this, you do to that. You divide this. And then what do you get? You get not two. No, it's a half. Two divided by four is a half, which is 0 0.5 cars. Huh? 0 0.5 cars per person? Yeah, this is just, this just means a half. Now this makes sense because look, one person gets half a car. Here's one person and she gets, check this out, she gets this half. That is her half of the car. And this boy gets the other half of the car. So you see here how this ratio, this unit rate, tells us that half a car per person. Half a car for one person. Now we can circle this and call this our unit rate and call this one, again, our unit rate. We can use unit rates at the grocery store. We do it all the time to find the best deal. That'll be for another video to figure those out. R this video, we're just trying to turn these rates into unit rates. So let's write a unit rate for this. How would you do that? Well, you'd need a price, first of all, because you got to compare some stuff here. And right now, we just have liters. So we could say two liters. We can write that first. Let's write two liters. And let's say the price is $2.50. Let's say that's the price, $2.50 for two liters. Or you may have written two liters is worth $2.50. Either of these is fine. But now you have to turn it into a unit rate. So the rule is we need one liter here. And to do that, you're going to have to divide by itself, divide by two, and divide that by two. And guess what you're going to get? Don't guess. Just write it down. $1.25 for one liter. So a liter will cost you this much. Two liters will cost you double, right? What if you wrote it this way, though? This is what happens. The denominator will have a dollar sign. And this would have to become a $1. So let's see, how did we do that? Oh yeah, you have to divide by itself. Anything divided by itself is one. 
divide this number by 250. Now let's do that. Let's pop it into our calculator. We've got 2, uh, not adding, 2 divided by 2.50. And we get 0 0.8, 0 0.8 liters. See, liters with liters, dollars with dollars. What does this unit rate mean? It means that a dollar will get you 0 0.8 liters. So if you give them a dollar, that dollar is worth a little less than one liter. It's worth eight tenths of a liter. Here, it means something totally different. Here, this means a liter of milk is worth a dollar twenty-five. So you want to buy a liter? You got to pay a dollar twenty-five. You want to buy two liters? You got to pay two dollars and fifty cents, and so on. Here, it's a dollar. You pay them a dollar. You get 0 0.8 liters. You pay them another dollar, you get another 0 0.8 liters. I was at the gas station the other day and I, I just took a picture of this. I filled up some gas. I filled up liters. This is all liters here. 47.033 liters. And I paid $35.46. Can you write that down as a rate? Not a unit rate, just a rate. You've probably written this down. You might have written $35.46 compared to 47.033 liters. That would be a rate. Or you might have written down 47.033 liters is worth $35.46. Either of these is fine. I prefer putting dollars first, always, but this is also correct. Turn this into a unit. We have to put one, one what? One liter. So we'll put an L, and this has to be dollars. Now look, to turn this into a one, you have to divide by itself. And divide the numerator by its by not itself by the same number, forty seven point zero three three. Let's do that. We're gonna get thirty five dollars and forty six cents divided by forty seven decimal zero three three, and you get zero point seven five. Rounded would be zero point seven five because that's a three beside it, so that five stays the same. So we can write zero point seven five make sure the dollar sign is there dollars with dollars you get 75 cents for one liter now mind you that's including taxes and all that so you know keep that in mind but how about for the bottom example what would this be here let's move this guy up to make space let's bump him here and let's focus on this second one if you wrote it this way your unit rate will be one dollar you have to turn it into a one. And to do that, you divide by itself. So you divide the numerator by that same number. Now look what happens. You've got 47 decimal 033 divided by 35 decimal 46. Look what it equals to. 1.3. That two becomes a three because that's a six. So we have 1.33. What's my unit? My unit is liters. Now, what does this mean? It means that for $1, you get 1.33 liters, which is a liter and a third of a liter. Here, we're talking about a liter costing 75 cents. They're both unit rates, but they mean different things. Understand the difference in meaning. That's important. Here's a treadmill. Did you know that ratios and rates are all over the gym? They're everywhere. We can combine two of these and make a rate. It's hard to read, but this says calories. So I can put calories, C-A-L, and this person burnt a ridiculous amount of calories in such a short amount of time, in 19 minutes and 55 seconds. I'm not going to write 19 dot dot 55. Don't ever do that. Because this here, we have minutes and seconds. Make sure it's either all minutes or all seconds. I prefer you keep it all seconds. It's easier to do. 
So look how we do this. We can take our calculator again. We can take 19. Now we know there's 60 seconds in a minute. So we have 19 minutes. That's 19 times 60 equals 1,140 seconds plus 55 more seconds. So we can add that 55 and we get that number of seconds. So let's erase this guy here. Let's erase him and we'll convert it to just one unit. We'll convert it to seconds. So that's 1,195 seconds. My question to you is, turn this into a unit rate, a unit rate for one second. How many calories does he burn every second? Well, let's do this here. What did we do to this number? We had to divide this by 1195. So you're going to do the same to the numerator. You're going to divide by 1195. Let's see what we get. We're going to get 857 divided by 1195 equals that number, 0 0.717 calories. That's less than a calorie a second. That is insane amount of energy that this person is burning. On average, most people in 20 minutes might burn 200 calories, 300 calories. Let me ask you this. What if I asked you to turn this into a unit rate per minute, not per second, but per minute? What you would do is you would say 0 0.717 calories for one second. Now we want to turn it into a minute, right? So what does that one second become? Don't just write one minute. Don't say one minute because seconds and minutes, they have to be the same. So what you say instead is 60 seconds. You turn this into 60 so they match. You see how that works? So now you're going to be like, oh, one times 60. So this times 60. And then we can do that on a calculator. We'll go times 60. And we get 43 calories a minute. So we can say 43 calories in one minute, which is 60 seconds. I can even like later scratch this out and just say one minute. And that's how you would do a calculation like that. A little bit of a trickier question. Here's another one. We've got, what can we, what kind of information can we find here? Can you, let me ask you this. Can you find any unit rates? Find me any unit rate that's on the display. Look carefully. What we've got here, it says strides per minute. So we have 61 strides. That's like your, the number of steps you take for one minute per minute. So one minute. Hey, look at the denominator. It's a one. So it's a unit rate. Any other unit rates? Yes, we have one right here. Heart rate. We have 163. This one here is 163 beats. For what? It's normally measured in minutes per minute. So for one minute. And those are two examples of unit rates that have already been calculated for you by the machines algorithm. Ah!